What's up, guys? How's it going? It is Matt here. So coming at you from quarantine again. Um, I'm going to be doing a video regarding EDC. Um, we're going to be talking about having a minimalist approach when it comes to your actual EDC. Um, there's a lot of people out there that tell you you got to carry pretty much everything in the kitchen sink. And uh, there's a lot of different mindsets when it comes down to this. So I'm going to specifically talk about mine, which is minimalism. So let's get into it. All right, so we're going on, I don't know, what is it, four weeks in quarantine, whatever. So I've got my beard, you know, coming in nice. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So my beard's coming in nice. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I want, you know, I, first of all, I'll put it out there, guys, is thanks for support along the way. I have patrons that are helping out along the way. I still have people checking out my videos. I'm trying to get to your comments as soon as I can. I do, I've always made it a point to try to get, go through the comments and comment back or give you a heart or whatever it is, just let you know that I'm seeing it. I get a lot of my content that I do from the actual comments that uh, you guys do. So feel free to comment on my videos, guys. It's great. You know, that helps me, you know, figure out what you guys want to hear and stuff like that, too. It, it allows me to make conversations or make specific videos for specific people. So if you ever need to comment on a video, go ahead and comment below. If you're a jackass on those comments, then, the, then I get rid of those comments. Anyway, so what I want to talk about, guys, is minimalism. Um, we're going to be talking about minimalism. Now... How many times have you gone to a, uh, you know, a, a channel or something like that, and the first thing that you see is some dude talking about EDC, or watch an EDC video. They pull out, first they pull out one gun, usually a light-bearing gun, or it might not be a light-bearing gun. Pull out one gun, then they have a couple extra magazines, and then they pull out a second gun, and they have another extra magazine for that, and then they pull out another gun that's on their ankle with a couple speed loaders, just because it's a little snobby in their other pocket. And then they pull out a pocket knife that's down their side, and then they pull out a actual sheath knife that's actually mixed in with all the guns on their belt. And then after they pull the sheath knife out, then they pull out the flashlight that they have in their pocket, and then they also show you the gun-mounted flashlight that they have on their pistol. And then they show you another flashlight that they have on their keychain, because after all, if you need three three flashlights in order to get through the day and go to the grocery store and go pick your kids up from school or whatever it is. How many times have you seen videos like that? Oh yeah, I can't forget the whole tourniquets, first aid, all this other stuff to a point where at the end of these videos, these people's their cargo pockets are like literally, like they look like they're about to burst. Like if you, if you catch a pricker brush, it's going to explode, right? There's so much crap on you. It is, it, it becomes ridiculous. Uh, that where, where do you draw the line? It becomes ridiculous, ridiculous. Now, I've always had a minimalist, I you know, I always have a minimalist mentality when it comes down to this. Always, my son's up there yelling, whatever. I'm in the basement. You're going to hear people upstairs. There's people in the house. We're all cooped up in the house through the quarantine. Anyway, I've always had a minimalist mindset. And if I remember, I did a lot. Of, I may have done a video on this a long time ago when I first started the channel. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I might have done one. I think I did. I think I did do a minimalist video, but we'll do an updated one for you. And this isn't specifically about me. I'll talk about my EDC. It's just the concept of minimalism and, you know, what you, what you should might be might want to consider it. We'll just say that you might want to consider this. So, so I guess we'll kick it off with what I do or what I carry on a daily basis. Now, right now, like I said, yes, I'm in quarantine, but what I carry now is pretty much the same thing that I carry when I'm not in quarantine, all right? So for me, that's always, I always wear a button-up shirt. I like my button-up shirt, all right? I, I like them. Uh, you see this a lot in the videos. This is one of my favorite button-up shirts, <laughs> right? So I, I always I always a button-up shirt. Now, the primary carry, believe it or not, most of the time I do my videos, you see me with my Glock 19. Majority of the time, say 80% of the time, this is what I carry, my M17 with the APLC, all right? I carry this pretty much religiously. Now, I like a full-size gun over a compact gun. I always have, but you, if you're no stranger to me, if, you, if you've been watching this content and you know that, I prefer a full-size gun over a compact gun. There's a lot of benefits. I'm not getting into that. I've done videos on that before. I also like having a light on my gun. Now, this is a new thing that I've come across. But I like, I really like having a light actually mounted on my specific gun. Basically for me, this is not two things. This is one whole system right here. I have my, my night vision got or night vision goggles, <laughs> my, my night sights, I have the night sights on it. And I have a weapons mounted light on my APLC. All right. So this right here is pretty much what I carry on a daily basis. The holster I carry it in is an outlaw holster that I've got right here. 
is an outlaw holster all right and i originally got this holster as a outside the waistband holster but i converted it since to a inside the waistband holster so that's the holster i use and it fits very well it actually conceals very very well on me so let me get back on here carry it right there on my side it doesn't print whatsoever it's right there it doesn't print now in my pocket I carry one backup magazine. I usually carry it in this most of the time. And if it's not in this, it's in an actual pouch on one side. I carry this in a little DeSantis little pocket holster for this guy, all right? And then I carry my phone, which I'm talking to right now. I carry my wallet, which is in my back pocket. And I carry a knife, all right? And the only other things I ever carry on my body is chapstick and a bullet. All right, I've never really talked about this before, but this is a tradition I've had for a long time. A lot of people are like, what? Why do you carry a bullet? Basically, my unit, um, you know, when I, was, when I was overseas, we had a tradition. Um, we had a tradition. And the tradition was that everybody, all right, has a bullet with their name on it. And one of these days, that's going to be coming for you. So you're going to have a bullet with your name on it. So our tradition was, I believe that they picked it up, we were told it was starting in Vietnam, might have been earlier than that, is you carve your name into the bullet, carve your initials into the bullet, and mine, which are right there, you can barely make them out, barely make them out anymore, all right? I carved my names in that bullet because if I'm the one with a bullet that has my name on it, then no one else has this, and this is the bullet with my name on it, so... It's just a weird tradition that we've had. It's a tradition I've liked and I've picked up and I've, it's followed me for a long time. So, and that, that's pretty much what I care for my EDC. Now, I could get into, you know, flashlights and stuff like that. And a lot of people are always talking about flashlights and multiple flashlights. Uh, my philosophy pretty much is I have a gun mounted light if I need to see things and I don't use this to like search for things. If I need to identify a target, I have it right here. And it's part of the, it's part of my, defense system so I could have full control of it and I don't have to do weird things with different flashlights in order to do it. So I can go into flashlights, but I'm not going to because I have a whole different opinion on it and I'll save that video for a different a different period. But basically I'm not carrying multiple flashlights on me. I'm not gonna carry multiple guns on me. I'm not gonna carry multiple knives on me. I'm not carrying multiple of anything on me. The first aid I have is actually in a bag in my vehicle. I it's stuffed up in a bag. Actually, the first first aid bags in, in my office, I have first aid in a bag there. In my vehicle, I have first aid. In my house, I have a specific area with a first aid in it. And I keep that because I don't wanna carry all that crap on my body. And you know, there's a lot of caveats to it. Well, what if you get injured? Yeah, yeah, what if, what if, what if? There's so many what ifs out there. How about you live your life to the fullest. How about you don't burden yourself with so much crap that you almost can't conceal what you're carrying and it makes you uncomfortable in your life because you have so much crap on you. And that's what my philosophy has always been. If you carry multiple stuff on you, it is harder to conceal. You carry multiple guns on you and multiple other stuff on you, it becomes uncomfortable. It really does. It starts becoming pretty darn uncomfortable. So you're carrying all that multiple stuff on you. It's starting to get, it's starting to get over, you know, cumbersome. It's going to start getting are becoming a burden to you and you might not carry that much anymore you might stop carrying all that stuff altogether me i carry what i may need for the day all right and i've always carried this gun now it's funny when i do the videos i i usually have my glock my videos and it's funny because it's like I, for some reason i'm only doing a video when i have a glock on me <laughs> and i do like maybe once or one video a week or something like that 80 percent of the time this is the gun i carry the m17 with my guns mounted light on it the 20 other percent of the time right now i carry it's my glock 19. Now, a lot of people ask me about my 1911s. You still have it? Absolutely. I love that gun. It's my favorite damn gun. Matter of fact, it's one of my most confident guns I have. I love that shooter. It does good things for me. All right. I love my 1911. But the issue is when this whole, you know, coronavirus thing struck, all right, there's a whole lot of ammo that wasn't available. And I have a couple hundred rounds of 45 ACP, good to go, hard ball to and third degree. And that's stuff I always use for it. But I have a lot more 9mm. So that's why I'm pretty much carrying a 9mm. But anyway, so that this is pretty much my EDC. And that's my mindset, guys. I'm always about minimalism. Like even when I'm going on hikes or stuff like that, I throw my, my hiking bag on me just for the added weight onto it. And I have my stuff that I might need if I get lost or survival or stuff like that. But even on my body, what you see is right here is what's on my body. Now, the only difference that with my EDC that I've done over the years is I've added this into it occasionally. 
All right, I've added this into it occasionally with my shoulder holster. And that's mainly if I'm gonna be wearing extra layers or if I'm gonna be driving for a long period of time or if I go fishing, I'll throw this on because it's just more comfortable. When you're walking around, you have your tackle box and stuff like that. It's just more comfortable to have the shoulder rig on you. And that's the only thing that I've added into it. I mean, next to that, guys, I mean, my, my EDC has pretty much been the same since I've had this channel. Primary gun, backup gun in my pocket, or backup or, or, uh, magazine in my pocket, knife, have my bullet, my chapstick, and my, my wallet, my phone, and that's pretty much that's pretty much what I carry. Uh, there's only been a couple times in my life I've ever carried a, a couple guns that I was going to a really bad area, and even since then, I just don't do that anymore. I just don't do that anymore. I might grab a, 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 so a second magazine, so I now have two backup magazines. I don't usually carry two. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about me, guys, and remember, guys, it is our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.